breast cancer it is cancer that begins in the breast tissues. There are two main types of breast cancer, ductal carcinoma begins in tubes, ducts that carry milk from the breast to the nipple. Most breast cancers are of this type. Lobular carcinoma begins in parts of the breast, called lobules, which produce milk. Rarely, breast cancer can begin in other areas of the breast. Mammary gland causes breast cancer risk factors are those that increase your chance of getting breast cancer. You can control some risk factors, such as drinking alcohol. Others, such as family history, cannot control them. The more risk factors you have, the more your risk will increase. However, it does not mean that you will have cancer. Many women who have breast cancer have no known risk factors or family history. Understanding your risk factors can help you know how to prevent breast cancer. Breast implants, the use of antiperspirants, and the use of rod bras do not increase the risk of breast cancer. There is also no evidence of a direct link between breast cancer and pesticides. Symptom early breast cancer often causes no symptoms. For this reason, regular breast exams are important, so cancers that have no symptoms can be detected early. As the cancer grows, symptoms may include tumor or breast tumor in the armpit that is hard, has irregular borders and usually does not hurt. Change in size, shape or texture of the breasts or nipple. For example, you may have redness, holes or puckering that looks like orange peel. Fluid from the nipple, which can be bloody, from light the yellowish or greenish, and look like pus. In men, the symptoms of breast cancer include breast lumps as well as pain and tenderness in the breasts. Symptoms of advanced breast cancer may include bone pain, breast pain or discomfort, skin ulcers, swelling of the lymph nodes in the armpit next to the breast with cancer, weight loss tests and exams the healthcare provider will ask about your symptoms and risk factors and then perform a physical examination which includes both breasts armpits and the neck and chest area women are advised to perform breast self-examination every month however the importance of self-exams to detect breast cancer is debatable biopsy with sinus needle tests used to diagnose and monitor people with breast cancer may include Magnetic resonance imaging of the breasts to help better identify the mammary tumor or to evaluate an abnormal change in a mammogram ultrasound of the breasts to show if the tumor is solid or full of fluid breast biopsy. Using methods such as ultrasound, stereotactic or open guided aspiration biopsy CT scan to see if the cancer has spread outside the breast mammography to detect breast cancer or to help identify breast lumps or lumps positron emission tomography PET scan to see if the cancer has spread sentinel lymph node biopsy to check if cancer has spread to lymph nodes if the doctor knows that you do have breast cancer they will give you more tests this is called staging, which checks if the cancer has spread. Staging helps guide treatment and control. It also gives you an idea of what to expect in the future. Open breast biopsy The stages or stages of breast cancer range from 0 to IV. The higher the stadium number, the more advanced the cancer. Send in a lymph node biopsy treatment Treatment is based on many factors, including the type of cancer the stage of cancer staging is a tool that your providers use to find out how advanced the cancer is whether the cancer is sensitive to certain hormones if the cancer produces too much or not a protein called HER2 NOI 